Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ServiceNow Flow Designer training. In this video, you will learn about creating and updating records in ServiceNow with Flow Designer. And that is also without writing a single line of code. As you know, if you have to create records in ServiceNow or update records, when any particular record is created or on any particular action or any event, you always need to write code. Maybe with the help of business tool, script include, server side code. But with the help of flow designer actions, you can create and update records without writing a single line of code. So let's see how you can create and update records in ServiceNow with flow designer. And this is my personal developer instance. Now I will do one thing. I will quickly open flow designer. So this is flow designer homepage. Now I will create a flow in order to use that action. So I will click on new, I will click on flow and here I will mention demo flow and then I will just click on submit so that I can create the flow. So flow is created. Now I will basically add a trigger. So I will go here, I will select created. So what we will do, we will create or update records with problem records. So here I will select a table so that once that record will be created in that table, then I will take some action, maybe create records or update records. So I will select problem table. So I will select problem. So that means once problem record will be created, this flow will be triggered. So I will click on done. I'm not putting any filter, but you can definitely add filter as per your requirement. So I will click on done. And here I will select the action. So I will click on this, click on this. Here we have ServiceNow core. And here you will find a lot of different actions, out of the box actions from ServiceNow. So here for creation and updation of records, you have these actions like create or update record, create record separately. You also have create task, which is basically to create task records, not any other type of record, just task records. And then you also have update record separately. So you have create or update record, create record, create task and update record. Let's read what exactly those actions are. So here we have create or update records, which means create or update a record in ServiceNow table by determining if it already exists. So that means system will automatically decides basically that a value will auto collase is already up, applied and it will check whether I should create the record or I should just maybe I should just update the same record existing record. So for that you can definitely use create or update record. We also have create record separately which will just create record in any table you want and it also says that server side validations uh, rules are enforced data policy business rules dictionary defined mandatory fields but not UI policy and that's for sure because UI policy is, is for UI. Then we have create task. Now this is specifically for ServiceNow task table. So you can create a task record in task table. Any task like incident, change, problem, all those records which are inherited from task table. Then we will also have update record which will uh, automatically update the record as per the table you will select. Any table you will select. But in this case what we will do, we will create two problem task records. So I will go to create task. Let's select task first. So here I will select the table and that will be problem task and I will select the field values. So here I will put field values and I will mention short description. I can mention this is a test for create or creation creation of PRB records. 
then I can just add another value. Now, how this, this particular action will come to know that I have to tag, I have to basically link this problem task, which we are going to create with this problem, uh, problem ticket created. So for that, you definitely have to select that field that is problem field. So what I will do, I will use this data pill. So I will click on this, I will select this and I will select this problem record. That means whenever this problem task will be created in this field, this value, so this record which is getting created and which is also triggering this flow is basically populated in this field when this problem task will be created. Now, one more thing you have, you can see we have this wait. Now, this will wait for the next action. So if you really want to wait for next action that until this is created, I should not go to the next action. You can you can definitely select this particular checkbox. So I'm just not doing this right now. And then so we have short description, we have problem. If you still want to copy some data from this main parent problem bracket in your problem task, so what you can do, you can definitely select like this and select any field you want, which is already available on problem record as well. And then you can just click on this data pill, click on this. Now this will take you to this problem record. And here you can select the fields which are available in problem table. And you can select, let's say we have this assignment group, I can select this. So what exactly it will do? If you have any problem uh, in, in this problem created with the, the, the problem record which is getting created, if it has any assignment group, then that will be copied here as well. So I'm just leaving as is, then I will go to next one. So now, as I told you, I will create two tasks. So here I will select this one now and I will select this time create record. So I just wanted to select both the actions so that you can understand the difference. So here I will select create record and here you will see that I'm not getting that wait checkbox because this is just creating a dynamic. Now why we, we have that checkbox for task because you always want to wait because in, even in workflows, you definitely, whether you want to perform some actions, once that task is completed that, or maybe that task is created, then only you want to perform any other action. That's the reason it would wait for that. And that's the reason you have that option. But in, in create record, you can create any record in any table you want. So here I will select a uh, problem task again. I can definitely select that. So you can see I can select problem task as well in this and the different action. And here I will select the fields short description. Uh, this is a second task. And then I will select because I have to link problem task with problem record. So here I will select the same this this one. And I will just select this one. That's it. That means this problem uh, problem will be uh, basically linked with this problem record, which will be created. Now I'm not going to copy the assignment group because I just want to show you the difference that what kind of difference we will see between these two actions. So I will just click on done. Now I will also try to update record. So once this will be done, that means once these tasks will be created. I will also show you that this would also update. So I will come here and then I will, maybe I will do one thing. I will put a condition that if, or maybe I will put wait for condition. I think uh, we have not talked about this wait for, uh, wait for condition, uh, but you can, you can definitely use it and you will not find in flow logic. You will find here, wait for, condition. Now, this is something if if basically if something is getting changed, you want to wait for that condition for a particular record. Now, which record uh, I will select from here and that will be the parent record and I will select that one. And you can see it has automatically selected table. Now it is asking me for the condition and in what condition I should wait. So what I will do, I will select state, maybe state and here I will put maybe in, uh, uh, I think I can just mention root cause analysis. If state will become root cause analysis, then, 
and I will just click on done here and if I show you other options you also have other options like enable timeout you can also select the schedule we will have a separate video on just wait for condition so I'm just I'm just selecting this action just to show you that how I can update the rackets as per the condition so now here I will go to action this time I will select update racket not create racket so I will just select update record and which record I can so here and I have already told you this data pill picker is really really powerful because you can select any previous record any previous value which is getting created so in this case I will select this maybe this task so in this task when this task will be created I want value to be changed what value let me change short description so this is after wait condition now why I'm putting this value just to show you the demo just to show you the practical live example so that you can understand that what exactly happened whether we found the same value or not so so that we can validate it whether this particular action worked or not so what we will do we will change the value because we will make the state to root cause analysis and then we will see whether this particular task which was created whether its short description value got changed or not so that's how you will understand that how exactly this creation and updation of task works updation of rackets and task so I will click on done and now I think I'm done so I will just click on save and I will activate this flow which is really important you can also do a test with this test and but but I think if you want to uh, directly use it without clicking on text test then you can just activate it so I'm going to activate this and as you know the triggering condition is when problem is created so I will just wait for I think it, it normally takes time I think you will also feel that difference but I think uh, I think in Quebec version it is little bit fast and I think that's what I have observed as of now we are in Paris version so now here what I will do I will go to problem uh, problem application so we have here I will create a new problem record by clicking on this create new button so this will open up the problem form so I got this form and here it says problem statement so I can just mention demo I can just mention demo for flow that's it and here we will put the assignment group because we want to test that because we are already added to copy to to copy the same assignment group in problem task as well so what I will do I will select assignment group mm, that's this analyst one so I will select this analyst one and now I will just click on save once this will be saved that means this problem is created and if I go to my flow and if I click on execution you will definitely see here that this flow has triggered and it has queued up basically and I will click on this because now I want to I want to see what what exactly it is doing okay awesome you can see it it basically triggered here it created the task it created the another record basically same problem task record and now it is waiting for condition which condition I can expand this and you can see it is waiting for the condition so what I will do I will just go to problem here first I will reload this because I want to see whether problem tasks were created and linked to this problem or not but before that I will go here because I want to show you what kind of record it created so click on this you can see here it created this one this problem task if I click on this you can see it created second problem task how can we see that whether it got linked or not I can basically you can also see it here you can see this problem and you can see this society and if I come over here go a little bit bottom absolutely you can see you got these two problem tasks created and you can see this short description this is a test for creation of PRB records and this is a second task that means this one was created with the help of the first action we used and this from second action now we added third action what was that for update of records so in that case what I will do I will click on SS 
that's my next state so maybe i have to assign it to someone as well so i will assign it to someone uh, we don't have any user um i think uh, maybe i will create one if i can add let's say test i think it can okay okay i'm able to assign it to this user i'm just doing it for testing and then i'm just clicking on save and then i am i think it, it is in ss mode then i will just click on confirm and you can see that basically state got changed to root cause analysis that's what we wanted that was the wait condition for our record and if i come over here if i refreshes if i refresh this you can see now third action this one also got completed even this action as well wait for condition because this particular flow execution got this condition and then it basically moved to this particular action which is to update the record how can we find out whether this basically completed successfully or not you can just come over here reload the form and you will see the updated short description of your problem task one problem task if i come here you can see absolutely we can see this is after wait condition that means our both the action they were they were basically they ran successfully without any issues so this is how you can use different basically different actions like create task create record update record create or update record in order to create and update records in service now and that is also without single line of code as you saw i did not even write a single line of code let's say just to, just a quick thing that if you will get this kind of requirement you will definitely write a business rule or some 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 uh, other different scripts in order to achieve this kind of functionality however you are able to achieve this functionality without writing code and that's a really great feature of flow designer if you think that i am able to enhance your service now learning experience then please do not forget to like and share and comment on my videos thank you for watching and have a great day